Hello and what's up everybody? So as you've noticed on my channel, uh, we've had a couple of days, a couple of weeks, how long has it been? Without, it, without too much content. Uh, a lot of guys are on vacation, including yours truly. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I was in France for a little bit. Uh, I saw, um, I saw Paris. And then I went down to Toulouse, and then I ended the trip with a week in uh, Marseille. And it was very relaxing, very enjoyable. And now I find myself in Minsk. Now, if you're watching your, uh, the news channel, then you'll notice that there was a big protest today. And this is what it looked like. I think that the news is like somewhat making, I'm obviously like two weeks ago is not the same as today. Like now, the, the current government has received support from Russia and the current and the protesting government has no access to American dollars. And so, like, it's over, right? So, I mean, for this year, for this election, it's basically over. Maybe ne the next election, the people will have a say in, and perhaps their vote will be heard and who knows what's going to happen at that point but I mean for this this is just the first phase of a revolution and like the first thing you have to do is you have to take the majority of the, of the citizens second you have to be able to take the majority the, the, not just the majority but like the overwhelming majority of the police and military so in, until the police and military are ready to stand down, uh, nothing's going to change. All right, so it sounds like something interesting. There's some people coming in from... Uh, there's more people coming from across the streets. It's still nothing terribly serious. But by now there should be a couple of hundred of people wherever these people are actually going. Like, I'm gonna go that way eventually, see what's going on, but right now, looks like there's a second wave, another 200, 300 people. Oh, this one actually, this line looks a lot longer than I was kind of expecting. All right, so generally I've been uh, filming from over there. You can actually see Oh no, you can't. Uh, maybe the, just the top of the, of yeah, the top of the Victory Monument. So these guys are walking this way. I noticed they started to turn here, and then I looked over here, and you have uh, looks like some blue lights in the back. Usually blue lights, blue and red. That usually means police. Uh, curious because. I don't know if they're, if the police are over there, it means they don't want people going past. Yeah, you can see just beyond the police, there is an empty street. So I noticed there were some people going down that way and there were some people going toward the police. Let's go towards the police and see what is going on over there first. All right, so the Wi-Fi, I mean the, uh, the telephone internet has been shut off. My phone can no longer get uh, the internet. We're getting closer to the police and it sounds like they have kind of a loud group of folks behind me. So let's, let's make sure we have something that will shade us from the bullets of the police. And more specifically, uh, the tear gas any kind of repercussions that may come from a group of police yeah so that looks like this thing this is this will definitely shelter whoa there's police everywhere okay so we have lots of police uh, i don't see any weapons i just see guys they're like locking arms with each other I think it means they don't want to... This one lady, she has uh, 
a sign that says, I'm not afraid. That's interesting. So like tension, like how much tension is here? Uh, there's not a lot of tension. Right now, there's like some guy, he's trying to show some sign. Uh, I don't know, like nobody looks excited. They're just doing their job. I think from a tactical perspective, if somebody goes, does something crazy, then it means that the bullets are gonna be coming from, well, the bats are gonna be coming here from the left, and the bullets are gonna be coming from directly ahead. So I think it's best to find an escape route. So obviously the first thing that happens is the bullets and the batting. And then the people, whoever are here, they start to move back. So I need to find the escape. Yeah, I think I'm far enough back that uh, I should be safe. Safety number one. All right, so it's time to get uh, the, I got hopefully the internet will be back on soon and I can get a scooter because once I got a scooter, I'll be able to move much more quickly in this environment. These dudes got tired and then they put down their they put down their sheet shield. That guy has a gun, so oh no, it's not a gun. It's a walkie-talkie. So they're probably tired because they were like standing like ready to fight for so long. Anyways, looks like everyone's going down this street. So let's Let's find out what's going on down this street. Alright, so I've uh, kind of walked down the road a little bit. And it looks like this is the direction of the traffic. The road is full of people. Um, there's some people honking horns down there because they can see the signs here on the bridge. Uh, there's different people that are holding signs here on the bridge. And everybody wants to take a picture. I'm not sure what she's saying. Then you got grandma. Hello grandma. So I just don't think it's uh, super, hello. I don't think it's a real super dangerous uh, situation right now. Okay, so we're getting to like the second area. Uh, the first area was kind of like, you know, the where the police were. And then basically I walked, I walked down this, oh, you can't see it now. Anyways, I live, I actually see those trees over next to that white building. Yeah, well, they're only trees. Looks directly straight ahead. Uh, my, my hotel is over there. So, I mean, this is very reasonable for me to be in this area, considering I live here. But let's, let's get to the center of this big uh, mess of people and find out what is going on over here. All right, once again, this is the road I was coming down and as you can see now I would say I'm roughly in the middle of this crowd I 
There's a lot of interesting things you can learn from this little video experience. All right, so there's I don't know, a lot of people have stopped here, especially, for example, on that uh, hill over here. They have a little bit of shade. Maybe they, they think that's uh, the best thing, is the shade. And, uh, I don't know. There are still quite a few people that are walking that way. So let's see what that will, where that will go. All right, so, so I think this is, I don't know, I should probably look up what this building is. But you're not gonna get in there because there's barbed wire. And these guys actually have guns. So I don't think nothing's gonna happen there. All right, so I just got the uh, just got over this hill, and it looks like uh, all those people are they're everywhere. Let's go deeper, find out what's going on down there. Basically, uh, the whole road is full of people. Um, as you can see, very shortly, I will not be able to walk any further. So, maybe let's see if we can get through this crowd. sucks to be the leader of this country because like uh, he doesn't seem very popular all right so I didn't notice this before but uh, I would say there's still a lot of people going to like the end of, uh, the end of the road here But at the same time, I would say like there are, if you look like, if you look on the sidewalk, now here, even on the main road now, you can see people are starting to turn around. The sun 
The sun is behind the clouds. What time is it? So it's getting quite late in the afternoon, early evening, and um, I think that there's one crowd that's getting hungry. It's time for them to go home and eat. Maybe there's another crowd. It's like they were, you know, partying last night or something. And they're just starting out on their little protest march right now. So I think I'm going to go home and rest my feet. Maybe see what happens. See, last night when I was out, I didn't see any protesting. So maybe this is just a daytime thing. All right, so basically it started raining and there it looks like there's no really nobody new is going to the end of the road there like two ladies who are really late looks like everybody's headed in a different direction maybe they have like a in case of rain location let's find out all right so i found this uh this nice little tree here because it's definitely raining definitely raining out there and I'm just not in the mood for rain what is that so it looks like there's a couple of things to see uh, this week I think this is only I don't know is it like just a weekend thing we will find out tomorrow Right, so it's uh, it's raining pretty hard now. I think that everyone at this point is soaked through. Anyone that does not have an umbrella is completely wet from head to toe. Uh, looks like it's going to clear up in a couple of minutes, but for right now, everyone is soaking wet. So the The clouds are beginning to part in the distance. I think that we have a couple more minutes of rain left and then we can go look at the the sopping wet masses. See the it looks like we're the end is coming close. Uh, the other strange thing right now that I've noticed is that the numbers are starting to thin. So it, I'm curious to know how many people are still protesting over at the end of that road. It looks like things are slowing down because, look, even the military or the guards or the whoever the security force is, they've been uh, allowed to stand down. Looks like they are putting on some rain jackets or taking them off or... Basically, uh, everybody got wet. So I thought that the weather was starting to clear up, but in general, it's not really clearing up. I mean, look. I don't know what that means. The rain's not so bad right now. Uh, still, everyone is going home.
All right, so this end of the journey comes to a close. Um, the, now the people that are walking past, well, except for this gentleman who is uh, definitely wet. Uh, the people, hello. No, he's dry. Oh, okay, so like the deaf people that are walking by now are dry, which means they were not outside during the protest, which means these are just local people. Maybe some of those guys are either ah, the guy with the flag. He's a protester. So let's just follow these folks and see where the after party is.